Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I've got an unbagging and this one is from a store called Deem Dreams Come True. Um, so I thought, well, let's have a look and see what they do. I like to try new stores and new things. So I've got three items from them. Okay, I have opened them to see where they were from and what we were doing. So we have one, two, three, which one shall we go with first? That one feels quite fat, so let's have a look at that one first. Put those to one side. Okay, hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, it's still very windy weather here in the UK. And uh, we're having a bit of fun with it. It's blowing things over. Okay, so let's have a look at number one. Oh, look at this. See if I can just fold it back a little bit. I do believe that this was an order I was doing when uh, I was doing Smashing the Specials in September. And it does tend to then, while I'm doing special drill paintings, I don't know if it happens to you as well, but I tend to start then seeing other things and thinking, oh, that'd be good to do, and that'd be good to do. And I think the trouble is once you start looking at certain things on your computer or on Facebook, then it starts sending you adverts and puts adverts up for other things that are similar to what you're showing or what you're looking at. So, and I'm a sucker for a bargain, so I ended up buying a few canvases again. Okay, look how pretty is that? Just like it was so more summery, I suppose. Um, but you know, your hills, a little bit cartoony looking, but your big flowers all making up your tree there and your tree trunk in your different wavy lines. I just thought it, it was something a little bit different and it just really shouted out to me. So we've got 16 different gems on this one. It says it's a 30 by 30, but uh, it'll be a little bit less. 30 by 30 tends to be the actual full canvas. So this one is 24 and, oops, well, 25 centimetres, shall we say, which is about nine and three quarter inches by 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. My measurements are really rough because my eyesight's not brilliant. <laughs> and these, I think they were all round about between three and four pound mark, these uh, canvases that I got, but yeah. This one just spoke to me, you know, when you're looking and you just think, oh, really fancy doing that one. Okay, so it's a partial drill, so your background isn't uh, sticky, it is just the bits with uh, letters and numbers on there, so you can see them. But look at that, I love that, I just love the colours, the greens and the pinks. Yeah, it's really summery, which is possibly not the best time of year to buy it, because it is... Um, autumn <laughs> okay uh, we've got your basic toolkit but enough to do your project but you wax your pen ben and your pot <laughs> you wax your pen and your boat i don't know why i always get that wrong oh dear oh and look they're all in baggies um i've had one like this before i think at one of my previous videos i did actually get a special drill that all came kitted up in separate little baggies which is brilliant because as I'm doing these projects, what I tend to do is when I've opened up, you know, when you get them in a long strip, when I've opened them up, I tend to put the gems into bags. So that'll save me doing that now. That's fab. I love that idea. Saving on plastic. Okay, let's see if I can get into these now. Where is the end? Where is the end? Get it, get it, get it. There it is, look. It does make them a little bit more difficult to show because we've not got the nice long snake to show you. But it does mean, I'll have to keep that because I'll have to put them in there for now, uh, that I can go through them. So we have maybe, it's like a, are they around? Are they around? Yeah, they are around. It's just my eyes looking a bit funny at them. So I've got some yellow AB coated rounds, some blue, lovely aqua blue. Like a very sea blue there, very nice. Lovely red. And like a slightly darker blue, like a midnighty blue. And a sparkly green. And a larger green round. 
and a gold and a purple there nice purple hot pink hot pink oh we love anything with hot pink in and these aren't in number order and a, like a lighter shade of purple there and a lighter shade of pink very nice all nice and sparkly and another gold there and an even lighter pink oh and a lovely orange i'm loving these oranges i think it's because it's autumn and autumn's my favorite time of year and then a pale green so we've just got a couple of larger gems and one special which is the yellow and the rest are all crystals so this is going to really pop and look lovely and this one may make it onto one of my walls um, but hubby keeps saying to me we're running out of space we can't keep buying canvases we are running out of space but what i'm starting to do is if i get ones that are sort of similar sizes then i can just swap out if i decide i want this one up uh one day i can put this one on one of the frames and then swap one of the others out and uh yeah whether i'll actually get around to doing that or not i'm not sure i have swapped out i've started a halloween corner so i will get some photographs of that done uh in the near future and show you that but yeah i've sort of like done this corner so you can see uh, all my Halloween pictures all in one place and once Halloween's over I will take that down because it become Christmas yay <laughs> okay let's have a look at the next one did I open this one yes I did okay this is a very very thin one so I think we have a little one here oh yes okay now then this one isn't in separate uh, ziplock bags there got the same toolkit again okay pop those on one side and look at him he's magnificent okay let's see if we can just bend him back again these are quite stiff canvases okay let's have a look okay just uh flatten them out great again a partial and it's a special drill. This one has nine different gems. But I just thought, it just, again, it, it just sang out to me, as it were, or it went cock a doodle do. I'm not quite sure which. <laughs> okay, so that's your cockerel. And I just think on the black background, that is just going to stand out so well. You can see that. Sorry, there's a bit of glare there, isn't there? But yeah, and it's all like straight lines, so it will be quite an easy one to do. Just literally following lines and putting those on. But yeah, I just saw him and I thought, yep, we've got to have that one as well. You can't just order one diamond painting, can you? Have you ever managed to just order one? I tend to, when I start looking, I think, well, if I'm getting one, I might as well just add another one. It'd be a shame to just have two. And, oh dear. <laughs> Oh, let's have a look at these colours. So these are all in the strip. So we have your lovely orange and your red and your blue and your aqua, pink, purple, gold. That's like, I don't think that is quite black. I think that's like a greyish colour. And then just some half sphere like flat reds. There's no facets on those. So yeah, so that's your colours of your cockerel. I'm all going to go together on one little picture but that is gonna look so good can't wait to do this one okay but they're gonna have to wait till after after my christmas ones i think because i've got so many christmas things to do okay so that's number two and finally number three just a quick little video of this one today and oops can i get this one out let's have a look Okay, I'm going to keep this one secret. <laughs> Try and just bend this one out again. Again, quite a stiff canvas. I tend to find that I'm, if I roll them backwards, they don't really do a lot when the canvas is this stiff. And this one is very similar. Um, if you remember, I got a cushion from Timney Arts and it had like a hummingbird on it and flowers. And I thought that was pretty similar. And I just thought it was such a pretty picture with the, like the pale lilac colour in the background. 
um, and then just the flowers and then the white heart just standing out just to show it just thought that was so pretty so I've gone for all the same sizes they'll all be about 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters which is great they will fit if you get those Ikea 20 by 20 frames oh, my mask is trying to get in on the act look I have this stuck on my wall this is my uh, butterfly specials mask <laughs> and it's just dropped off the wall and decided to join us <sighs> things happen in this house right this is 11 colors but look at that that hummingbird is just beautiful all the different colors and the way it's just gonna match in with the flower colors um i'm sorry i, I know we've got lilies there um but i'm not sure what the other flowers are i'm no good at flowers um but yeah it just looks so pretty okay let's have a look at the gems once these have been under something heavy so I put them in my uh, folders and they go between the mattresses and they do just flatten out. So again, standard toolkit. They look fairly consistent, these. and They've all just got the legend on one side, but when you're working on a canvas that's only this size, you don't need a, a legend both sides, really. And this is only a special. But this one, again, has come in the little packets. It's not come in the grip seal bags. I wonder if the grip seal bags get these out. I wonder if the grip seal bags are the new way that they're starting to do things, quite possibly. Okay, so we have silver and two pinks, hot pink, and your purples, and a nice aqua, and your greens, and your gold, and your orange. So similar colours actually to the uh, rooster or the cockerel, uh, but yeah, they're really pretty. So, oh, and one little last one, look, a little extra that they've just not quite got fastened to the others, your little gold one. That's a very dull gold, actually. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, we've got three canvases. We have a hummingbird in a heart. We have a beautiful cockerel, which is going to look magnificent when he's done. And we have a flower tree. Okay, on a very messy desk. <laughs> I'll put that mask out of the way. I wonder why it decided it just wanted to join us at that second. Okay, well, that's uh, three canvases that I've looked at for today, my little today's delivery. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing these. If you have, if you just give me a like. Uh, and if you want to see what I get up to next and see me unbagging and finishing things off and some of the little ideas that I have, if you press subscribe and the bell next week, you'll be notified when my next videos come up. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.